Hi everyone, this is Odd Apostrophe. And let's take a look at uh, Melabulgia. This game is available on uh, your favorite online retailer. Uh, so it's currently on sale. Uh, either Steam or GOG. So uh, let's take a look. All right, Leo. I must guard. Without mercy, finish finishing blow. Okay, well, buttons don't work the way. <laughs> As life's candle burned out, I awoke in a dark yet familiar place. With a torch, as Virgil, and sharp steel in hand, I would seek my escape. Yet nothing could guard me from what prowled in those shadows. First Canto, Caligo. Okay, well, hopefully this game isn't too combat heavy because the, oh, it's because the camera's reversed, that's one. Uh, okay, let's change that, shall we? Increase our brightness. Uh, invert X. This thickness needs it. Let's resume. Does that work? Yes, that's better. Thank you. The Imperial Academy of Combat, Chapter 1. Focus on your target. Right button or R. Keep him in sight and hold your distance. Only fools with a death wish ignore the precious role of spacing and movement. Slash at opponent. Slash at the opponent with L or A. Draw blood from your foe and strike in so short succession. Yet be not impatient and be aware of the enemy's counterattack. Strike for victory, Q or Y. This heavy slash will severely wound any aggressor. Bear in mind the exertion behind such a powerful blow. So, apparently you can use the right trigger or the right button, uh, but the right trigger doesn't work, nor does the right button. <laughs> so, you are more likely going to use the A button and then use the L button to block. Or left button, I should say. Ready your weapon to parry and deflect an enemy attack. X or left button. Time your defense right before the foe can hit you to turn the tide of battle. Have restraint and keep away. E or B, a quick dash will let you dodge that which cannot be parried. Learn to read your foe. An experienced warrior may prefer his quick step and a well-timed strike. Tap forward or back with the attack for a heavy slash and parry. Uh, yeah, I'll save. Why not? It's not going to hurt anything. Love it at the right trigger actually worked, but it does not. The flame of the torch is the essence. Light propels dark, as life repels death. Recover your strength by spreading the candle's fire. 
A torch does not only light your path, it can also wield against the nightly creatures. Strike at the shadows to make them retreat. F or X. The souls of Fallen may grant you additional protection. Remember those slain in battle, and let the memory of their life reinforce your own. I like it when instructions aren't actually instructions and are just word plays designed to kind of build atmosphere and not actually provide you with helpful information. Like just all those words just spilling out, telling you anything. Uh, whatever. One more thing, dear reader. Before setting out on a brave quest, don't forget that a map is useful even to the most intrepid explorer. Tab or back button. Explore your surroundings and keep track of your adventure. The ticking of the clock is the constant of time. It is the safeguard of your life's path. But carve out your own memories and have a moment's pause. Start on our escape. Adapt yourself to the challenge before you and, as ever, be prepared. Oh, adapt yourself to the challenge before you and, as ever, be prepared. Be like Dark Souls, is that the idea? Talk to Sir Elagor. So you finally arrived here, Sir Leopold. Smell of Ulja. Our princess is playing music in the upper chambers. Your visit will certainly delight her. Anything else you want to say? No. Uh, you look like. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, it's minimalist gra graphics, but uh, at least it runs fast. Oh, wait, she's upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Central Hall. What does the map say? Not much. Torture. It's torture, huh? Uh, how do I strike again? Hello, our princess. Just gonna play the piano. I can't talk to you. Can't talk to your candles. What an audience, huh? Okay, well, good talk. Going all to all this trouble to uh, protect a mute princess, so, uh, all right. All right, whatever. So run 
button? No, there's just a pleasant jaunt. I think I'd use this torch to like light some candles around here, huh? This is awful dark. Oh, it's paintings on the wall. Um, market, maybe? And uh, more uh, death-ish things, I guess? Okay. Well, not very many save points. Grab that key. Oh, where's the key? Oh, here it is. All right, now I'll go save. What a terrible control scheme. I mean, you have to ready your weapon with the right button when you see a monster. Not the left trigger or the right trigger, mind you, the left button or the right button. And then you actually attack with A, the A button. Um, and apparently you can do other stuff with the other buttons. I don't know. Ah, let's talk to you again. Sure, yeah. See, I can't talk to him until I hit the right button. But the right button doesn't advance conversation. The A button does. <laughs> why, why such a ridiculous interface? What? It's like I played other games, which is a possibility. Okay, ready weapon. It wants to be Dark Souls. That's what it seems like. No. Ballroom. That's where they hold your balls. I didn't know you need a specific room to have somebody hold your balls, but that, there you go. Ah, the way they did things in the past. Huh? So silly. Are you going to attack me, bird? Okay, good. Oh, hey, what's up? Do you talk? No? Well, the birds certainly don't talk. Do I need to ready my weapon? Have you two come here to this necropole? Oh, don't be frightened by my visage. I wear my mask of flesh no longer. I belong here, as do you, sir. Heed my advice, Lord Leopold. Hmm, that doesn't give you an indicator that you can't talk to him. That's interesting. I'm not feeling this game isn't quite finished yet. Maybe it's an early access game. I really didn't look. I just thought it was on sale and it looked interesting. Which is all it takes to get me to make a purchase. <laughs> uh, was that the only door? Okay, fine. One door and one balcony. Okay, princess, I'll come and uh, not really rescue you exactly. I guess I'll just come see you. I don't really understand. Perhaps a little more exposition? Uh, I don't know. They're 
all like in bondage. It doesn't seem right that I'm just slashing them. <sighs> Draw my weapon first. <sighs> Ridiculous. I don't understand these controls. I don't know why they're so the way they are. Oh, did we freeze? <laughs> Let's just go downstairs this time. I don't need to see her. She has nothing to say. Or maybe she does. I don't know. Uh, let me try it again. One more time. There's no prompt to, unlike this character, where you actually walk up to it and you get like a circle saying you can talk, the other character didn't have uh, that prompt. I just assumed that he couldn't talk until I hit the button. My combat's off clunky. Am I playing the bad guy? Because, like I said, the only thing I'm really hurting are things that are shackled up. I guess I'm the safe princess. Welcome, my dear Leopold. It has been some time since we've spoken like this. The palace? Yes, it has been so cold and dark during your absence. The throne is vacant and in need of a ruler. No, I just measure something, make sure it's the same distance all the time, and you got yourself a ruler. What's the big deal? Two assholes are kick, 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 kicking my ass. Okay, how about you? Bring out the weapon. Why am I? Why am I killing them? Because they're there. Or? Because they don't look like me. I mean, that's traditionally why we kill things. At least nowadays it is. And also because they have something we want. <laughs> Which is the greater motivator. Right? Yeah, that's how petty we are. <laughs> Playing is louder down here than it is up there. I'm sure you have nothing to say, so let's go downstairs. No, oh, let's save first. I want to do that all over again. Control 
button to initiate, other buttons to do actions. Okay, why? <laughs> why make them separate buttons? There's no need. All the statues are the demons. It must mean I'm the. I'm just bothering these poor innocent gargoyles. You know, they're just trying to finish their shopping list. I'm coming in here with a torch and a spear, wrecking the place. No, but it just feels like it. <laughs> Nothing has the appropriate weight, you know. And what's with the sparse saving points? I mean, it's a PC game. You should be able to save wherever you want. It's not like there's some memory restrictive reason, right? Uh, it's over here this time. I, I, okay, I, I was just here. So, yeah. <laughs> Has to wait for the animation to finish. Weapon ready. Oh, that combat really doesn't flow very well. I'm sure it's just going to take some getting used to, but uh, I don't know. You probably don't want to ever see me play Bloodborne. <laughs> That's completely ridiculous if I do that. Oh no, what? Just came out of nowhere? <sighs> okay, so I see it is heavily inspired by Bloodborne or Dark Souls. <sighs> All of that comes with the cabinet nut of it. It is good, so. Mm. That's okay, it's an independent game, so you have to judge it on different levels. You can't judge it on levels of a game made by a team of a hundred. Well, I mean, you could, but that's just being an asshole. I don't like being an asshole, it just kind of happens, so. Sir, you, you are here as well now? Uh, how long has it been? Don't tell me. Be on your guard, sir. I saw some foul beasts wander off with the key. Those ogres think they rule here. Clearly they do. They kick your ass. Um, and they have been kicking my ass pretty consistently, too. Um, I think we should probably just hand it over to them. What are they going to do? Yeah.
See, why does everybody look like a demon? Sir Balor, Sir Dullahan, Sir Elagor, Princess Marie es Elizabeth, and me. But the servants look like they're devils. What? Why? Like I said, I, I must be the bad guy. There's no other there's no other explanation that makes any sense. Which would be kind of a lame, <laughs> you know, a lame reveal, right? I mean, it worked for Braid, but <laughs> after that, then people kind of expect it. thing again. Ah. Oh yeah, it's a princess quarters, huh? Does that mean I have to fight the prince or what what's going on exactly? for dodging that, huh? <sighs> really? <sighs> this is such a bother. I know, I know. I'll, I'll play Bloodborne. You can watch me die terribly in that one, too. Uh, the following first before we do that. Getting dizzy yet? That's some staircase. Uh <laughs> you never know how they're going to act. <laughs> Great. I've got like one hit on me. Got to fight Buttercor. No dodging, apparently, huh? I can't sidestep around wide enough for that. I do kind of like the, uh, you know, the minimalist art style. I, I do sort of like it, although it just reminds me of a Jaguar game, you know? It's all just, you know, garage shading and, you know, one or two textures here and there. Are you a person I can talk to? Um, okay. There's the library again. Okay, you have nothing of interest.
How am I supposed to know when that happens? How? Predictability is what helps the, the Souls games. And Bloodborne. But with no predictability, what, what have you got? You've just got random reaction times. Again, what do I do about that? <laughs> Just nothing has any impact. <laughs> I said there's no weight to anything. It's sort of hard to judge you know, when you need to strike if it if it just feels like a tick box, you know. Do all tedious crap again. Guess I could run all the way back and save. I mean, I might be save myself some time. Let's do that. Again, how do I know that's going to happen? I don't. Okay, well, I didn't get a perfect... Well, I didn't get a perfect set of moves there, so uh, we won't save that one. But we'll come back later if, if we don't make this one work out. <sighs> okay, that wasn't a block. Somehow I got that. <sighs> you can't block twice in a row, apparently. All right. Uh, I am not in the mood for this kind of game. Light these candles. I'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. How about you too? Let's light you. This place is kind of dark anyway, right? Yeah, candle. Uh-huh. Good. Candles. Oh, there's a place for a candle. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a candle here too. Hey, let's do it. Yeah. It's a very romantic setting now. Hope you appreciate it. Probably not though. What? What? That's the first time that ever happened. No sidestepping, you just have to take it, apparently. Oh, gosh. Really? Nah. 
one player half an hour, but it, it feels like it feels like six hours. Because I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I'm making little to no progress. Candles. Let's do it. We did it last time, we'll do it again. Yeah. Place needs a little brightening up anyway, doesn't it? That's why everybody seems so down. They just don't light any candles around. Probably help lighten their spirits, I would think. doing? I'm not even sure what lighting these candles does. It doesn't seem like it does do any it doesn't do anything. Of dodging if uh, <sighs> is, is it over yet? I <sighs> trying to give this game a chance. to judge it just on you know the first 30 minutes and give up on it but uh, so far I, I have not seen anything that makes me want to continue I haven't hit blog yet. Whatever. I light him up. Yeah. Do your thing, whatever your thing is. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, and then it, it makes me drop my weapon. That's just wonderful. Yeah, this is a whole bowl of not fun. Doesn't matter if you add milk to it, it's still not fun. It's 
sea monkeys? No, no, they don't make this fun. They don't help. Oh, that's right, I dropped my weapon as soon as I finished killing someone. Why? <laughs> Why do I do that? There's an enemy in the room, and I'm dropping my weapon. Oh, they got me? Are you kidding? <sighs> Again, why am I dropping my weapon? No, no, go back. Yeah, I beat him, but that felt incredibly unsatisfying. <laughs> Tough enemies, you know, are supposed to really make you feel like you accomplished something, but that just eh, leaves me with a floppy one. It just means I have to look forward to more tedious combat. Surprise enemies that make me drop my weapon. Or I don't pick up my weapon at all. <sighs> Look at this, all the way back here. That's, that's great. Just great. Ah, oh, let's light the candle, why not? It's the only fun thing I, ha I have to do in this game is to light the damn candles. Just because I know at least the candle lighting is consistent. Everything else, eh. Maybe it'll act this way. Maybe your button presses will you know, we'll respond. Maybe it won't. two animations, maybe they only do one. You never know. Why would you want some predictability in your games? Especially in a game that it's just solely on patterns. Yeah, I know, that's a weird it's a weird concept, isn't it? What? Oh, okay, you're just one extra hit strong for no reason. No, whatever, you know. I don't even care anymore. All right, let's fight this BS boss battle. Uh, 
Ah, keep charging over here. to judge distances too. I mean, it's just like, it's such a mess. Such as running all the way back to where you start just to save. Uh, preventing one tedious thing to do another tedious thing. Oh, what the heck? Ugh. Ah. This is like the ultimate BS game. Shoals too, or just slowly go through a door. Well, I copied that part. That part wasn't even that cool. What? Is he gonna be there again? Nope, he was just there to screw with you that one time. Uh, completely insipid. Officially, I didn't talk to you yet, so yeah, yeah, good. Good, great. You want some candles? You want me to light some candles for you? You don't seem to have a uh, torch like I do. Any candles to light? No. Okay, fine. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, come on, come on. There we go. Ah, now things feel better. Yeah, just like home. so much of the screen <laughs> you can't even see what's in front of you okay yeah that's where I beat his ass that's good all right bust out of here let me bring my weapon out for once Great, you have a completely different pattern. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I am done with this game. I, uh, mm -hmm. Is it even going to let me quit? Can I do it? Uh, this is apostrophe. You have been watching uh, Malabosia. Games available on your uh, favorite online store. Uh, it's on sale right now. Um, I don't know if you really want it. I, I don't. <laughs> it's like a sort of Dark Souls esque game, but uh, but it's failing, and it's not even giving me the intrigue, the desire to carry on. 
unlike Dark Souls, where it feels like it's being, you know, incredibly fair. This one doesn't feel anything like that, so, eh, I don't know. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream here very soon.